Today we're gonna to make mosaic balloons and there are a few things that you're going to need to be able to do this. We're gonna start out with our balloon cutout. These have all been hand cut and sanded so they're not all identical. You're gonna need a popsicle stick, which we'll use later, about a tablespoon of grout, a couple of Q-tips. I am using some kind of random beads just for filler in case we need them. We may or may not get to them. I'm gonna use this little crystal, which will be attached to the bottom of the balloon. You'll need two eye pieces, one to hang up the balloon and one to hang the crystal off of. If you want to just have this as a table decoration, you won't actually need either of these, but we've got them just in case. We're gonna have our broken glass. This has all been hand cut. And we have our um, glue that's gonna glue everything together. And in a little while, we will need the paper towels as well. To get started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our glass and you'll notice on the top, I've got two pieces of glass that are a little bit different than everything else. These have been cut just for the bottom of the balloon. You don't have to use them, but I like the way that this works. So they've been just cut into kind of rough square, or a rough square and a little bit of background. And this is all of the glass that we are gonna use to decorate the balloon. So what I like to do is just kind of set out the glass because this is all recycled glass that I'm using. So occasionally when we use recycled glass, we basically take up a, a bunch of glass that was cut up originally for a stained glass window and we reuse it for mosaics. So sometimes you'll have a little bit of Sharpie or marks. I can usually just wipe it off with my thumb or I can just use the other side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our glue and we're just gonna start gluing down our mosaic pieces in whatever pattern we like. There is no wrong way to do this. I like to start with my base, um, but you can do whatever you want. Oftentimes people will kind of lay down their pieces before gluing them on. See, I'm just taking my little Q-tip, but I will often do kind of just a random puzzle. And we're just gonna take a little bit of glue. You don't need a lot. This is Titan Bond glue. It's pretty good for this particular purpose. And we're gonna glue our pieces down in any pattern really that we see fit. When you're happy with the placement of all of your pieces, give it a little bit of time to dry, and then we're gonna move on to our grout step. In your kit, you've got a tablespoon of grout, and we're gonna add another half a tablespoon of water. I like to add the water slowly so that I know exactly the texture that I'm going to get. The easiest grout to work with is about the texture of thick toothpaste. And while it might be tempting to add extra water, make sure you spend enough time stirring your grout thoroughly with the first addition of water because it's really easy to overdo it when it comes to water. Now that we have our grout nice and mixed up, what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna frost our hot air balloon. So we're gonna go over all of the pieces and try to fill in all of the cracks. I will do this both with the popsicle stick as well as with my fingers, although you have to be careful because the, or the sides of your glass pieces are still sharp. So it's not something that I recommend people do a lot, but I like living dangerously. 
The biggest part that I find is to make sure that you get the edges all filled in. So I'm doing this with the popsicle stick and kind of just pulling it down so that the edges have a nice layer of grout. And I'm not getting too much on the wood, although if you get it on the wood, you'll be able to take it off, so don't worry. Once your grout is in place, you're gonna take a dry paper towel and just start wiping it off of the tiles. This is a really good time to kind of make sure that all of the holes are filled in and that the grout looks the way you want it. When it first starts drying, it's really easy to shape. So if you wanna make sure that there's like a rounded edge, now's the time to do it. I like to call this your first pass at polishing. Now your grout won't take too long to dry, so it's nice to take this first chance to polish it, then wait about five minutes and then polish it again, and maybe wait another five minutes and polish it a third time until you're happy with the way that this particular um, piece looks. Sometimes I find myself honestly polishing a piece weeks later when I'm like, oh look, I missed some grout, and that's absolutely okay. You're just going to want to work with the grout until you're happy with it or until it's dry, whatever comes first. When it's nice and dry, it should look pretty shiny and you should be happy with it. Once we have our mosaic complete, it's time for us to figure out how we're going to hold it up. So with these ones, you can either just display them standing up or we can add some of these eyes. And there's a couple of really simple ways of doing that. I'm gonna add one to the top and one to the bottom. And I'm gonna put this little crystal on the bottom. And what I did is just grabbed a little push pin. And to add these eyes, you don't really need much. I like using a little push pin and that kind of helps create that first hole. so that you have a place for your little eye to go. And so I'm just gonna stick that in there and twist. Till it's all done. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. I'm just gonna take my little tassel tie that on I'm actually gonna do a triple knot because I'm crazy that way I'm gonna take a little pair of scissors For the top, I'm going to add a little bit of raffia so that I can hang this guy up. And here we are. Thank you so much for joining us on this crafting journey, and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Happy Balloon Fiesta!